greetings to everyone of you so in this video we are going to discuss another important concept from data structures and algorithms that is selection sort in this algorithm we are going to perform two different operations so one is find out the minimum value in the list that is the first operation the second operation swap it with the first element the same procedure we are going to do it for the second third etc up to the elements that is n let us see the algorithm first selection sort in which uh, we are going to that is uh, use the array a and uh, n represents the number of elements in the array step number 1 we are going to perform repeat steps 2 to 6 for i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 number of times step number 2 we assign the value the location value that is minimum location is equal to i okay so now the third step is repeat steps 4 and 5 for j is equal to i plus 1 to n number of times the fourth step we are checking a condition if this a of j is less than a of this minimum location then step number 5 it is set this minimum location it is equal to j step number 6 we have to swap the value a of i with uh, this a of minimum location number 7 it is n so we got uh, two loops here so remember that uh, we have to perform this loop that is uh, the step number 2 to 6 we have to perform it for i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 number of times so up to this statement we have to perform i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 statement but here we have a loop that is uh, the statement 4 and 5 we have to perform for uh, j is equal to i plus 1 to n number of times okay so here uh, this uh, inner loop ends this is end of inner loop inner loop and uh, this is the end of the outer loop end of outer loop okay so in the inner loop we are finding out the minimum value as i said uh, we have two operations so one is uh, finding out the minimum value the second operation is swapping so the inner loop find out the minimum value in the list and that value replaces the element 1 similarly we have to that is uh, do the operation for uh, i op that is i is equal to 2 first time i takes value that is 1 for that we are doing we are finding out the uh, minimum value and the minimum value replaces this a of 1 a of 1 is the first element and similarly when i takes the next value i is equal to 2 here we find out the minimum value and uh, the minimum value will replace that is swap it with the second element so similarly for the third element etc up to that is the n minus 1 number of uh, elements okay so since uh, we have uh, you know if we have n number of elements 
we just we need to perform only that is n minus 1 number of times because the last element will be already sorted okay now let us uh, see the example so the first operation finding out the minimum value so just uh, you know during this loop we are finding out the minimum value okay so initially the location minimum value location it is 1 okay it is 1 so what will happen this is compared with the you know the next next values so this is uh, 77 33 okay 44 so 11 is the minimum value okay comparatively 11 is the minimum value so what will happen this a of 1 okay a of 1 it is replaced by the minimum value so what will happen 7 11 will come here and uh, 77 will go there so the remaining values will be as it is the remaining values are as it is so these two values are what is that swapped now we have to start uh, searching that is checking the value the minimum value from the second element okay 33 44 77 okay 88 22 it is the minimum then uh, this uh, 33 so this is the minimum value so what will happen this value will replace that is swapped with the second element so 22 will come here and uh, this is 33 will go there so the remaining values are as it is 88 66 and 55 now we have to perform the checking from the third element so right from here we have to that is perform the checking finding out the minimum value so what will happen this is the minimum value 33 is the minimum value comparatively so what will happen 33 will reap the swap with uh, the third element so 33 will come here 44 will go there so the remaining elements are as it is 77 this is 88 66 55 now for the fourth element so we will start from what is that now i value is what is that i value is 4 okay so now what will happen we have to check with uh, the, from the fourth element so the minimum value it is uh, 44 so 44 what here what will happen 44 it is uh, 77 will go there so the remaining values are as it is 66 and this is 55 now i value is a 5 i value is 5 we have to that is uh, <coughs> perform this operation check it with the what is the minimum value so here it is it is so now check it with the right from uh, the fifth element you check the minimum value so the minimum value is 55 so 55 and uh, this uh, 88 swapped so remaining elements are 11 22 33 44 this is 77 66 now i value is uh, 6 i value 6 okay now we have to that is uh, compare this value from uh, from here so 66 is the minimum value so 66 is the minimum value 66 will come here 77 will go there so the remaining values are as it is 22 33 44 55 and now we have to perform the checking with the uh, seventh element if you compare uh, actually this uh, you know seven seventh element that is the 77 it is lesser than 88 so no need to that is a swap it will be that is as it is 33 44 55 66 and finally we have the sorted uh, list this is a sorted list sorted list it is 11 22 33 44 55 66 77 and 88 if you see this uh, comparison so in the first case uh, we are taking the first value we are comparing with uh, the next elements so we got uh, seven comparisons similarly from the second you are doing the comparison so here we got uh, six comparisons similarly here it is five comparisons it is uh, four it is three it is two it is one comparison so from which we can calculate um, the time complexity of um, this selection sort it is nothing but one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven so total number of elements we got uh, n elements 
for which we got uh, you know this n minus 1 number of this passes that is 7 passes okay so this can be written as it is nothing but uh, the sum of the natural numbers so that is n into n minus 1 by 2 so which is equal to that is n square minus n by 2 so it can be written as the complexity of uh, the selection sort it is the uh, order of n square so make a note of this this can be asked as a separate question what is the time complexity of a selection sort so you should know it is order of n square okay so this is uh, how we can uh, you know perform this uh, selection sort so i gave the introduction about the selection sort i gave the algorithm and explain the algorithm with the help of this example and also i have um, calculated this uh, time complexity i hope you understood the concept thank you keep watching bye